AI faking science data. Hello, my science friends. This is quite scary because it can really trick the reviewers. AI is now capable of generating fake science data. Look at how many upvotes this post has got. Apparently, this is a concern for a lot of people. If AI is really good at generating fake science data, how can we examine whether the data are true? We can see four type of data we commonly use in biomedical research. The person who generate these data use generative AI to create fraud examples. Right most column of tumor was created by AI using first six real ones. That will be these four. And the AI can generate these images in less than 30 seconds. How can you tell it's AI? I want to get better at detecting and I don't see it here. Indeed, it's very concerning when these images look so realistic. It can create a lot of problems for reviewers. They can't detect this is AI. That is why it is scary. Here are the original data. I think they are Western blot. Western blot. Here we go. These four images were used to generate the fake fluorescence essay image. This one, what is this essay? Cells were seeded at the density of 200, 400, 800. So this is a cell culture. They look very real, right? The AI they use is... Uh, he's gatekeeping. I'm not trying to give aid and comfort to the enemy. <laughs> I read somewhere he used Photoshop generated fill to create these images. This is a generated fill function from Photoshop, I think. I screenshot this tweet, posted it on the subreddit Lab Rats. It blew up. It got almost 2000 upvotes. Let's see what people have to say. Anyone caught deep fake data should immediately lose all opportunities for funding. Over 1.5 thousand people agree. And someone said, you know, at least a third of these are gonna be international postdocs who don't actually care about their long-term reputation and are just afraid of not giving their PI what they want. Oh, this comment is attacking a certain group of people. Obviously, this only applies if there is a culture of fear where the PI threatens the worker's visa status and where the PI only wants data that supports their hypothesis. That will be a very toxic lab. If you guys are in a lab like this, get the fuck out. I was in a lab like that in the US. International postdocs were afraid of being sent home. Watch out. This can happen. If you are a foreigner working in a foreign country, your employer will be responsible to sponsor you the visa. This can lead to an abusive dynamic because uh, your visa sponsor would have so much power over you. People in the position of power will most likely abuse it. The PI might push you, do whatever it takes to produce the data they want. These type of toxic dynamic will allow these AI fake data flourish. This comment also get a lot of upvotes. I have become increasingly concerned about the future of science research. The AI rat dick paper was the start. Do you guys remember I roasted this image? This was a big scandal. The paper is retracted as a result of this image going viral on Twitter. I talk about it in another video. You guys can check it out. But the subtle stuff like this is going to get worse and worse. Faking things like gels and well plates imaging has been easy for a long time. There is a website catching researchers doing this, but it was done by Photoshop in the past. You can compare the bands and see if they are duplicates of existing bands. With generated AI, it will be more difficult to catch. Uh, there should be a tool to screen if there's AI generated image. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Okay, this is why you get asked for raw unmanipulated files when submitting. Yeah, so they have the raw material to verify. Except everything in this image is the raw unedited data. Yeah, it will be tricky to uh, detect. The real raw image is still kept in secret. Then it's hard to verify verify which part is newly generated. How do we know this is AI generated? I want to share this with my lab. Look for OP didn't find details. Oh, AI yeah, helped the person. Here's the link to the tweet. Journals are pretty bad at catching maliciously fraudulent data. The field is not resilient against bad actors. 
That is very true. Hot take. This might actually be a really good thing for science. People have been faking data for years and getting away with it. Now we might actually have to face. I think what the commenter means is, is that this induce a lot of awareness in people and we should find a solution for it. Worth keeping in mind that vast majority of science papers are only checked for egregious errors. Science mainly works on the honor system. A lot of the dumb cheaters have been caught using bad photos shopping check out elizabeth beak's tweet feed for some funny examples oh there you go she was interviewed by fox how to catch a scientific fraud boss has an article about it same photo of western blot had been used so this is a very common fraud fake post fake reply fake science how can anything feel trustworthy ever again yeah also people on social media can be fake <laughs> I hope I'm real. <laughs> I'm not AI generated. I unequivocally believe all AI generated photos need to be one labeled for a human to read and be labeled in their metadata or an image itself for a computer to read. This is a good idea. Something like a blockchain technology that can mint the AI generated contents like an NFT, you know, so there is something that can help people to identify this image has been AI generated. Well, at least funding sources ask to see raw data. Define raw. Many funders take an Excel sheet or an image as sufficiently raw. Okay, good to know. <laughs> people have been producing fake data for decades the key is reproducibility exactly like ultimately if something is true in science it can be reproduced everywhere that's a funny conclusion it proves that scientific method works <laughs> if you can reproduce it in a different part of the world in a different lab then it's verified i know a pi would love this that's funny there is a comment that was downvoted it so much. I want to go over it. Personally, I blame the mods for this subreddit for not removing this kind of bait content fast enough. This is just Twitter slob being brought here for engagement. Uh, tr true, I know this will get a lot of uh, attention. <laughs> That's why I screenshot it and put it here. You're right. I don't have Twitter, so I don't have to expose myself to this these stupid folks but you bring them here why because this is an important phenomena that's happening in the science community and people should know about it and the fact that it's important tweet without having twitter i think you should thank me the uh, from the number of downvotes this person got i think my point is valid are you scared of the ai what you guys think can help us to combat these fake AI generated contents? Let me know in the comments. This is a really important question for scientific research. I do live stream every week. I talk about science on Wednesday. Subscribe, give a like, and I'll see you in the next video.